Hello, everyone. As a few of you know by now, because of my news updates on the channel, I have in the last few days upgraded my gaming PC from an Intel based system to an AMD based system. And I'm just putting the specs of the old machine and the new machine up on the screen here. You'll notice that I have kept my old GPU, but everything else has basically changed across from an i5 6600K system to the AMD 3700X and the various other components you see there. Now, the i5 6600K system, the old system, actually has been pretty good at running DCS. And I've been producing videos for YouTube in 1440p with that old system for a year and a half now. The main reason I'm upgrading is actually because the amount of time required to conduct rendering and to do some other activities which I do with this PC, such as composing music, takes simply too long. So I'm not expecting a massive jump in frame rates for gaming, but I am expecting that I'll be able to be a lot more productive now with producing videos for the channel. Despite that, however, I did decide to do a side-by-side -side test of both of these systems running exactly the same mission in DCS with the same graphics setting. So here's a little discussion about the frame rates I encountered from the old machine and from the new machine for those of you who might be interested. For both of these tests, I'm going to be using exactly the same graphics settings in DCS. You can see them here. You'll note that most of these are quite high graphics settings, and I am conducting these tests in 2560 by 1440p resolution. Spawned in on the ground before we start the mission, I'm getting about 90 frames per second, which is actually pretty good. I'm going to press play now, and the various bandits are now going to come streaming in from all directions. And you can see we've got frames still in the 90s. And the shooting has begun. There are 16 aircraft up there, and frame rates are sitting about 90 FPS still. And sooner or later, we should get some effects. Got some clouds starting to appear now. 100 frames per second, which is actually pretty good for the old machine. Down to 50 now. 50, 50, 47, 48. There's a lot more scrapping going on. And down as low as about 50 when I'm looking back behind me at those other close-in aircraft. So there you go. There's the approximate frames I get down at about 50 when I'm looking right back at these aircraft on the ground here and up to about 100 or 90-ish when I'm looking up at the sky. So that gives us a baseline for what is achieving on the old Intel based machine. Here I am with the new AMD build and I'm sitting in the cockpit of the Spitfire once again with the mission paused. Looking forward, I'm getting frame rates at approximately 80 FPS, which is actually a fraction less than I was getting with the Intel system, where I think I recorded about 90 FPS at this view. However, once we start the mission itself, we should see things change a little bit. I'm going to press fly here and turn off the radio. And we've got 16 aircraft that are about to converge over the top. Eight from the right and eight from the left. And looking at the frame rate, it got as low as just above 70 for a fraction. But now it's hovering around 190, 200 frames per second we hit for a second there. And... With a bit of ground in this shot here, I'm getting 90 to 95. Looking up at the sky again with those aircraft, 160 and then down to 110. 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I've got about 10 aircraft that I can see visibly up there. Frame rate drops down to about 100. Explosion in front, 70 
for a second. Now, with the Intel machine, the worst frame rate I got was this view here, where I was getting frames of about 48, 49, 50 FPS. Here I'm getting high 60s, just under 70, and that is with at least two aircraft falling behind me and with the smoke pools there. You can see I'm just getting 67 with track IR steady. There's quite a few aircraft falling out the sky. In a couple of tests I've run with this exact same view, I've been getting 70 frames per second. And uh, in this mission, unfortunately, I've got a lot of smoke there, so I'm getting 68, 69, so just under 70. Now that is the lowest frame rate that I've been getting in this mission, both on the Intel machine and on this AMD machine, and that is with the view back here. The AMD machine is giving me about 20 frames per second more than I was getting on the Intel machine. Now that 20 frames per second from a baseline of 50 represents an approximate 40% uplift in my lowest frame rate. And for me, the bottom frame rate is the most important. And that is because I usually play in 1440p resolution. And at 1440p, the refresh rate of my monitor is only 75 hertz. So getting more than 75 frames per second doesn't necessarily help me. And I want to bring that minimum frame rate up as close to 75 as possible. So jumping it from 50 up to the high 60s represents a pretty decent change in frame rate. On both of these recordings, I was obviously using OBS in the background and running OBS on 1440 FPS recording. I lose about five frames per second with OBS running, but that appears to be the same in both systems so there's no difference really when it comes to the frame loss that I get from running OBS.